Wild West Online is an open-world western-themed MMORPG sandbox game that's currently available to play via early access on its website. When complete, the game hopes to provide players with free expansions, real space player housing, train robbery missions, new biomes and more. Before we jump into the game though, please bear in mind it's early access and not a finished product. That being said, I almost gave up making this video as the game kept crashing every few minutes. Hopefully they can get that fixed soon. First things first, let's create a character. You have the choice of being male or female, although female isn't currently in the game, as well as a few different facial presets. You can also choose to be bald or have hair. I think I'll keep my character looking like this. Obviously there'll probably be more options closer to release when it comes to character customization, as well as facial features like scars on your face and tattoos and stuff. But this looks fine, let's just type in a name, the lazy peon, and see if this game's any good, shall we? The game displays all of the controls on the initial loading screen, very helpful indeed, I like it when games do that. Okay, so we've loaded into a place called Valin Bank. So there's lots of different icons for different shops and stuff. We have the choice of being in first person or third person, I like having that option. Pressing H whistles my horse, so you start with a horse straight away, nice. Let's see how the horse controls. Okay, oh, horse, come on. I like how a dust trail comes out from behind my horse, that's quite nice. In terms of the movement, the horse feels quite realistic, it actually turns properly like a real horse. Although, when the horse stops, it's very abrupt, it'd be nice if it did a bit of a skid or something. Can the horse jump? It can indeed, nice. I suppose the first thing we should do is look for some quests. We start off near a lake, I wonder if you can swim in this game. Some games, swimming just kills you. Oh. No, swimming isn't a thing in this game yet. You just encounter an invisible barrier. Hopefully they make it so you can swim later on. Swimming's always fun. They could like hide treasures at the bottom of the lake and stuff. That'd be great. Press the tab button and that brings up our inventory. We have a bandage, some tonic, some ammo, a pickaxe, gun oiling kit, lock pick kit, survivalists map. Let's use the map. You can actually fast travel in this game if you click on these different points of interest. It says fast travel unavailable currently, but I guess I need to go there and discover it first. Let's get on the horse and see if we can find some quests. Aesthetically, the town looks quite nice. It's kind of dead though. It feels really barren. Oh, this is cool. It seems like there's a house under construction here. Now we're at a place called Copper Bank. Copper Bank also seems to be pretty dead. Maybe we should search inside these buildings, see if there's any treasure or anything. Don't really know how this game works. Oh, okay. We just stole some shotgun ammo. Nice. I need to get myself a shotgun. So it's definitely worth going inside of these buildings and looking around because there's stuff to steal. Milroy Farm. Okay. Oh, it seems like we've got a farmer and by the looks of this icon above his head, I think he's got a quest for us. I've got a shipment coming through that I need you to pick up and bring me. Oh, so this is just a fetch quest. And we're going to rob his house while we're here. Got some canned beans. Got some snake oil. What's this? Biscuits. My character doesn't give a fuck, he's just gonna rob everything. You name it, I'll steal it. I wonder what happens if I put my horse in the water. Nothing, the horse doesn't give a fuck, it doesn't even know it's in water. The water looks nice, you can't interact with it. Bloody horse is stuck again! It's a little bit buggy, as you'd expect from an early access game, I suppose. Let's whistle my horse. Okay, where's it gone? My horse has gone over there. Okay, horse, whatever you say. Oh, we have found the toilet. So let's see what this does. E to use cabin. Unlock cabin. I need five cabin keys. So this is the safe house thing that appears on the map. So I can't have access to those just yet. Horse is fucking stuck again. Oh my god, they need to fix the horsing. Horse just gets stuck on everything. I hope I'm not the only person playing this game right now. Feels a little bit lonely. This plant looks gatherable. Willow plants. Nice. So if something looks gatherable, I should probably grab it. I wonder if driving into a cactus actually damages you or your horse. It, it doesn't. Come on, developers. I need to have death by cactus be a thing. Seems like there's another town over here that has railroad tracks going through it, so I would expect some quests and a little bit more population, perhaps. Visually, though, it's quite a beautiful looking game. 
certainly have that western feel. And we're level two just from exploring. I appreciate that. I like being rewarded for exploration. Is there anyone here? Train station. It's dead, but there's a bloke called Adam. Oh, this was the place I actually needed to go. I needed to take the shipment for the quest. Nice. And we've got another quest here. $25. Now we're making the money. House to the northeast. Luckily, this game has a built-in compass at the top, so that's kind of useful. Might as well just take all the quests whilst I'm here. It's a very quiet game. It'd be nice if there was some ambient music in the background, maybe. Right, I feel like this is the place I need to be. Here it is, brilliant. So we've found the orange barrel. The thing I like about the quests in this game so far is it doesn't really hold your hand and tell you where exactly you need to go. You really need to read the quests and figure it out for yourself. There's a clothing store here. Can I actually interact with it? Customize your character, okay. Oh, interesting. So I can actually use the money that I've got from questing and stuff to spend on new clothes. I like this one. Kind of reminds me of what McCree from Overwatch wears. You can also buy face masks, different hats. You can look like a real cowboy. I don't think these clothing items give you any stats or anything. I think they're purely cosmetic. But nice regardless. There's also a gunsmith here. Let's see if we can buy any new guns. Doesn't seem like we can. It seems like the different guns in this game are locked behind having different level requirements. So level 10 seems like you can get yourself a proper rifle. Whereas you just start out with a simple revolver. Different gun skins. Interesting. Black horse whiskey. I think we need this for the quest. So let's buy some whiskey. Some bourbon. We'll buy some bourbon as well. Bear trap. I suppose I should buy some bear traps just in case I come across a bear. Haven't seen any wildlife yet though, so not sure how likely that is. Another eggplant. Who keeps an eggplant next to their bed? Does anything happen to this lamp if I shoot it? No. What about the glass? No. No. What about this bottle? Okay, you can shoot bottles. You can't shoot... Anything else, you can shoot bottles. It's quite realistic how your character individually loads every bullet into the revolver. There seems to be a campfire over here. I don't know if it was lit by another player, but let's go check it out. Oh, a, a treasure chest. Chest is empty. It, it bloody would be, wouldn't it? There's some bread over here, though. I'm going to ignore the quests for now because I think they're kind of useless and try and find some other players. A lot of these buildings and settlements do seem to be very copy and paste. We've hit an invisible barrier. Hello? Game. Game. What's going on? I think the campfire smoke looks really nice, though. Really realistic. Oh, okay. We're level three. It seems like the best way to level up in this game is simply exploring. Right. We're going to try and pick lock this chest. We've finally found a chest that isn't in use. Very hard to pick lock, though. Fucking hell. It's very difficult to pick lock these chests. Nice, we did it! Okay! I'm now wanted, apparently. Oh shit, dude, there's another player. We found our first other player. Seems to be a sheriff! Die, dude! Come on! I'm low on ammo. We're shooting him through the horse. Oh, dude, we just killed a bloody sheriff. <laughs> and now we can loot him. Nice. I'm going to take everything he has. And now we've got a three-star wanted level. We're also suffering from blood loss right now, so... Let's use the bandage. All right, let's go on top of this mountain and try and stay away from the law. Advanced miner's pickaxe. We're mining for gold now. Nice. Hopefully we can sell that for some good... And the game crashed. So you mine the ore and then there's golden nuggets all over the floor. Nice. This is sure to make my character very rich indeed. I feel like I'm most safe in the mountains because I've got a good view around me. Man. Oh. Oh, dude. I, I, hear, I hear a gunshot. I don't, I don't know where I'm getting shot from. Oh, no. Where did I die? No. I think I got sniped. Oh, no. He was right next to me, apparently. We lose absolutely everything we have when we die. So, going outlaw, probably not worth it for the most part. I'm just going to fucking punch this guy to death. I've got nothing to lose, dude. Nothing to lose. 
and we're dead again. I think being an outlaw is a bit too punishing. You just start in the middle of nowhere with absolutely nothing. We're on another character and we've got some guns again, so let's get out there and have some fun. I feel like something this game really needs is NPC bandits in the world or something, because there's just not enough players and shooting a player really screws you over. It's fun to shoot things and there's very little shooting in this game. There's so much running around on your horse, gathering and exploring, but it'd just be nice if you could shoot more. Right. Oh, dude, we got him! Just! Oh my god, that was so close. Get wrecked. Um, bandage. Nice. Brandy. Drink. Oh, I think that made me drunk. Eat the eggplant. Eat the cheese. Drink the whiskey. Nice, we're almost at full health. Oh, my vision is very much impaired. I think all I'll ever end up doing in this game is make a character, be an outlaw, die, lose my stuff, and then make a new character. So now let's talk about the pros and the cons, starting with the pros. The world feels huge and visually looks quite beautiful. I like that you're rewarded for exploration by gaining experience. It's cool that players have the choice between being bandits and deputies. I like that the quests don't hold your hand. You actually need to read the text and figure stuff out for yourself. Now let's talk about the cons. There's still many game breaking bugs such as getting your horse stuck, game crashing and logging into having your entire inventory disappear after a crash. I don't like that you straight up lose everything you have when dying as a bandit or deputy. I think it'd be more interesting to have a prison system or partial loot system where you can choose to protect certain items upon death. The bounty system in this game is really cool. Don't discourage people from doing it by making it overly punishing. Currently, the world feels really dead. Very few NPCs, no wildlife, no ambient music. It feels hollow and lacks immersion in its current state. Overall, for a game that's only been in development for one year, it's not too bad. I think Wild West Online does have the potential to be a fun game if they fill the world with lots of choice and a variety of things to do. In its current state though, do beware that the game crashes a lot. I even did a full system reset and a fresh install to see if my computer was the issue and it still crashed constantly. I'm sure they'll get it fixed eventually though. But that's it for this video guys. Let me know your thoughts on Wild West Online in the comments below. Is this a game you're excited for? Does it look good? Bad? Let me know. And if there's any upcoming multiplayer or MMO games coming out soon that you want me to cover, then also leave suggestions. But thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you again really soon.